Hey guys, today we have a Blender tutorial for the Array and Curve modifier. So first of all, let's gently remove the default cube. It hurts, but you have to. And then we press Shift and A to add a curve. There are different kinds of curves, a path or a Bezier curve. And if you're familiar with French, you can also call it Bezier curve. I'm going to select such a Bezier curve and when we switch to the edit mode, you see it has these handles. When you select the point in the middle of the handle, you can for instance use the move tool to move around the point, like that, I do this for the other point as well. And of course you can also use the keyboard shortcuts like pressing the G key to move around the points. Or you press the R key to rotate the curve with the point selected, or you rotate it by using the outer control points of the handle and move these by pressing G or using the move tool. Like any mesh, you can also subdivide curves in edit mode, right click and choose subdivide and a new point is added between the selected ones. So if you're new to curves, you have to get used to it, but pretty soon you will see that it is quite simple. You can also extend, extrude the curve by pressing the E key with the point selected. Okay, now we have the curve, but what I want to show you is to create a mesh, add an array modifier to it, and then align all the items of the array along the curve. So first of all, let's create the mesh. It can be any mesh. I decide to add a cylinder and make it look a bit more interesting by using simple modeling techniques. First scale it down a bit and keep it at the center. That's important so that we don't get an offset when we attach it to the curve later on. Okay, first I add two edge loops by pressing Ctrl and R and I move the mouse wheel slightly to increase the count to two. Then I want to move them a bit up and down and to do this I use the scale tool. Like that and then I add again two edge loops and bring them near to the other edges. Okay, very good. Now I press S to scale down the inner edges. Okay, and this is the basic shape that I was going for. The default material is a bit boring, so I assign a steel material and enable the look dev mode. Yeah, that's nice. And then I use my JMesh tools add-on to add a simple bevel, just to make it look a bit more interesting. All right, now let's add an array modifier here on the modifiers tab. And we can increase the number of items in the array. But of course the axis is wrong, I want to set it to the set axis. Okay, but I don't want the fixed item count, I want it to fit the length of the curve and this is pretty simple. For the fit type, instead of using fixed count, I use fit curve. Then I assign the curve. And now it already fits the length. It doesn't look like that because it is straight and the curve, yeah, <laughs> is curved. But when we add another modifier, and this is a curve modifier, the meshes will be perfectly aligned to the curve. Okay, here we have it in the section Deform. Again, I select the busier curve and for the axis, I use the set axis. And to look at this, this is very easy to do. All right, now you can select the curve and go to edit mode and move around or rotate the points as you like. Of course, this will affect the length of the curve, but this doesn't matter because the fit type of the array modifier is set to fit the length of the curve. No matter what I change, it will always be adjusted. By the way, you could also go to edit mode for the mesh and change it. For instance, adjust the position to have a different offset and then I go to face selection mode and select for example these two faces here. 
Then I press the I key to add an inset, and then use the extrude tool to move them to the inside. It looks nice and crisp because we have the bevel modifier attached, and here you see this nice effect of changing one item of the array modifier and all the other items are changed as well. So guys, that's it. I hope you found it understandable. I try to keep it beginner friendly. By the way, I'm also adding renders and short videos now on Instagram. So if you're interested, follow me there. The link is added to the description below and you also find it on the channel. I see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Support me by becoming a member, press the join button. Nice perks are waiting and the same you get when you become my patron. If you have any questions, add these to the comments and I'll see you soon here on JNM.